everyone and welcome, my name is Angie and today we have a chance of beta testing the game called Revolt. Um, the developer for this game was recently looking for someone to beta test the game and I thought we surely should. Uh, it looked really neat and so in this let's play you can expect more of me talking about how I see things or what I see that could be changed uh, or made better if there are so things or what things I find really cool etc because I want to help the developer as much as I can so we shall just begin story survival oh that's cool uh, okay I really like the um the animation, so all the happening here, it's really neat. Let's go for a story. Let's In go for easy because I'll probably the sack. End of the world happened. On December 21st, as the light of the sun was cut from the earth by the solar eclipse, so were the lives of billions, extinguished by the rapture. Their cell structures broke down at the molecular level, causing their bodies to crumble and melt within seconds. 97% of the population was wiped out. Mass hysteria swept those remaining into panic, and they began to fight and kill for the remaining food. And from sheer madness, the world fell into darkness. In the midst of the chaos, an order of so-called enlightened ones emerged from underground bunkers and hidden bases. They possessed knowledge of advanced science, commanded sophisticated robots, and claimed that they were chosen to rebuild the world and unite the Earth in a new ideology that led to a bright future. That ideology proved to be one of slavery and servitude for the survivors who were forced into labor camps to build more machines and a new empire for the enlightened ones. Those who refused to comply or tried to escape were hunted down and mercilessly executed. The year is now 2084 and much of the formerly developed world is still barren and empty. Cities and infrastructure have collapsed, and vegetation claims the ruins. The technocracy has grown to dominate all aspects of life. Robotic megacities linked to resource outposts, and a vast control grid hooks into every piece of technology. Humans are tracked and hunted. Almost no one remains free. However, a few survivors did escape into the wilderness and avoid detection by the technocracy's satellite recon, surveillance drones, and scout sweeps. These survivalists remain in the outlands, the degraded areas beyond the limits of the robotic cities. They eke out a living among the remains, rubble and dirt. A unified resistance has formed among these escapees. From underground tunnels and ruins, they've begun building their own settlements. Using formerly undiscovered caches and armories, the resistance has begun to fight back against the technocracy. Each victory frees more of the unshackled to join the fight against the robotic hordes. Our story begins with one such resistance fighter named Guy. So before we go into the level, I want to say that the intro was amazing. It was really, really neat. I wasn't expecting that much given it's just a beta, but it was amazing, it was really pretty done, I really loved the art, the way the art was drawn, it was really really pretty, I I really love it, like if there are more cats like this, amazing, but let's start with this, born into slavery for the technocracy, guy was forced to maintain I repaired their assembly line, automations, and produced parts for different robots. His skill with machines and technology became exceptional, and he felt proud that he was helping to make the world a better place, as he was told. That all changed the day the resistance found him. Ooh. I also like that there is not a play button, but fight button. Okay, just use up a bomb. Okay, um, can I change camera a little bit? I guess I probably can't. Uh, 
um, as I can. No, I that that wasn't what I wanted. Oh, so cool! That is actually really cool. Really cool gameplay. Really, sw really swift. I like it. It's really easy to move. Uh, uh, yeah, the camera flow is really neat and it's really easy to move and figure out things. Amazing. Like, it's really amazing. I don't know why I'm taking uh, some data, maybe? Who knows? Oh, and this, like, uh, signs of explosion from where I show me amazing. I, wow, it's really pretty, pretty game. I really like it. I thought I might, maybe I should do that. I shouldn't. Oh, something's shooting me. Where are you? Oh, you. Oh, that's Korish. Oh, there's another one. I don't know what this is. But okay. I wonder if I get any health in this game and how it looks. Got a scar. I also like the terror survival mode, and I also think that this would be amazing with a cold mode. Pro best for me, it would be best if it would be in the online cold mode. But if there would be, that would be like totally amazing. Like you could go with those. Uh, robots with friends, that would be so cool. Be really cool. Chip, chip, chip. Right now, I really would like something like health. <laughs> because I'm getting. Wait, what happened? Oh, you happened! I was using up my bot so much. So what are I exactly doing? Are we escaping from facility? I think we are. We can take this, okay. I feel like we are because like uh, someone found us and told us there are cool people and we don't have to labor to do labor for the robots. Yeah I know I'm I'm not good with health. I know okay it I also took easy mode especially because I don't know this game and yet I'm almost I will die. How do I heal myself? Oh, you don't! You don't! How do I heal myself? How do I heal my heart? Like, where do you want me to go? No, let's just, let's just, let's just run. Run for my life! I don't care. You die. Maybe I cared. It wasn't half. Oh! The first level! The first level was a uh, victorious! Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Cool stuff. Well, I used everything on my health, but don't be surprised I did. Just trying to live through it. I actually need to go to craft something. Well, let's try that. 
What did they? Oh, ballots. Well, that could come in handy, I guess. We can always go back to the labs, but now we are in the storage. We can go to upgrade. It's it's really neat. I played some of those upgrade like games, but they were really usually short and not so like um uh I lost the word. That's bad. My English is getting worse with every passing day. Um, this is such a bigger game than what I what I played. They were really small. Also, if bef between levels there would be little uh, cute scenes that would be good, there might be cute scenes in the bits in like a moment. So let's try it. No, this is so. If that would be during the little cute scene, not sure if you can do this because I know like art and everything takes forever. But that would be a really nice future too because the intro was just amazing I was taken by it so beautiful deep in the catacombs of a mega high robotic city guy discovers strange medical rooms with various records of experiments on every form of life known to access are human corpses with deficits implanted into them or containing cut toxic levels of chemical compounds Animals with strange deformities and growths, even plant maternal that had been manipulated and combined with both are present. Also, I know there's not a game about this, but if we are able to like find some of those things ourselves, uh, find some of the spies and learn more about what this place is, that would be really cool too. I think it would be an amazing feature. If the game wouldn't change, there would be just added places where you can just come up and see. Oh, look! Look at the file! Look at it! Uh, so, yes, we would learn about the place, about the people, and everything. Not knowing where I'm going Don't care Just run for enemies The bad thing is that I need those green things so Running away isn't really the best option I'm going to die I died. I should use more bombs. Match more bombs. You have faith in guys that the future of humanity is lost. God damn it. I didn't feel a bit that bad. <laughs> well, it is time to try again. Go for it! Good. Going well. Go for the spiders. Oh, you too. I need the green ones. I guess that's money. Simply. Okay, go, 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 go. We can do this. I'm really enjoying myself when it comes to these games. I'm really happy I signed for uh, beta testing this game. Like I said, the controls are really swift, so it's all good. I don't really see anything that would put me off like really put me off as well for now um me the only thing that maybe more items maybe 
uh, more locations that differ a little bit more. They look similar, but I understand it's better, so all good. Maybe um, different types of weapons that you could find or buy. You probably can buy them. I didn't really look at that great shop that much. But you probably can buy them. Would be cool if I could get some health. But I don't think you can get help like while you are here. Although that would be cool too if you could somehow buy health or maybe buy uh, health packs in the upgrade shop. That would be really that would be cool thing to do. Those like there's a lot of things that. Oh, oh, oh. Just bombs, just bombs. I killed myself, didn't I? I am a beast! I killed myself, I know, I have faith in humanity. Humanity hate me now. Humanity hate me! Of course I don't. So what about the weapons? Craft radar, armor, pistol? Craft a great web. Oh, I have different weapons. Okay, so that's cool if you... Like, I think the cool future would be like you could find maybe uh, blueprints in the level and then have more weapons here in the upgrade shop. That would be a very, very cool future in my own opinion. You know, just uh, getting the blueprints so you can actually craft something. Uh, that would be really amazing.